Yeah, I took an auto track. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, look at that, man. Look at that fly. <laughs> this is a black project type plane that is housed here in Utah at Michael Army Airfield. Um, or lifts off from Michael Army Airfield. I was sent a picture last year. I was going to show it last year, but I didn't. Um, I actually brought it, but there's no way to get it up on the screen. But I have sent it to Mark and showed a few dozen people around here today um, this picture. So if you want to see it, just hit me up afterwards. I can show it to you on my phone. This is a picture that was taken at Topaz Mountain by some rock hounders that's about, oh, I don't know, three miles away from that runway from Michael Army Air Airfield. They said it was about 11 o'clock at night when they seen this thing take off from the airfield. Triangular in shape, kind of rounded corners, was leaving a glittery, uh, kind of a glittery glowing trail as it was flying away with two propulsion things out the back. But they said it was completely silent. Even though they could see like propulsion engines on it or whatever, they said it was completely silent made no noise. And so the picture they got gave me shows a vehicle in the picture which gives scale. And you can see the glittery trail. You can see the shape of the craft. It's probably one of the best night shots I've, I've seen of a UFO. Um, clearly shows the shape and all this. So if you guys want to see that, hit me up. But um, Michael Army Airfield is the second longest runway in the world. The longest runway in the world is the Air 51. So that kind of tells you something, that there's a lot of secret stuff going on in the second longest runway in the world. When they, when they built this runway, the media said they built it for cargo planes. And you don't need a runway that long or that wide for a cargo plane. The UFO researchers look at Michael Army Airfield as one of the few spots on the planet where you could land a TR-3D. And the TR-3V is the big flying triangles that people have been seeing worldwide. And the rumor is that some of these TR-3Bs, the Black Mantas, are like a half mile on a side. So you could actually land an airplane on this airplane. And they're made to stay in the atmosphere for months at a time. They, have their, they create their own fuel in, in that, the atmosphere, but they have kitchens and gyms and all sorts of stuff aboard because they more or less live in the atmosphere for months at a time. The aircraft was built so they wouldn't have to land it. So if you think about it, if you own five of these planes, you could probably rule the world. I mean, they have the capability of anti-gravity propulsion. They can deploy weapon systems within minutes. I think these are one of the type of craft that Area 51 was actually developed for, was to develop planes that could intercept nuclear weapons before they went ballistic. That was the objective of Air 51, was to keep these kind of black project planes a secret. But in, throughout their, their time there, they, they ran into extraterrestrial material and um, they housed some of that there too. But, but w this is my own belief. I believe that because Air 51 was becoming so popular that they moved a lot of the space projects that they had to Utah. Because if you think about it, we've got about five companies here in Utah that build space planes, build rockets, build space parts. So if they're building it here, why wouldn't they test it here? And from the correlation and the correspondence that I've got from people that work out at Dugway, that's exactly what they're doing, is that they're testing weapon systems, um, space planes, exotic type weaponry. Um, we've witnessed some of that weaponry out there in some of the sky watches we have. Back in 2002, um, some of the footage that we took out there was on every news station in, in Utah. It made every, every station. Fox 13 took about a year to, to air their story because they wanted to look into it more. Um, they actually contacted Doug Way and said, you know, what's going on here? The spokesperson um, at first totally denied it and then they said well you might as you might want to take a closer look at your pictures because your signage is in the pictures along with what they were photographing so they finally admitted that the, it was their base that the pictures were taken this was on the um, south west side of the range where um, i-15 cuts through their property out to Wendover. 
at the Knowles um, Recreation Area.